Hello and welcome to another edition of Commander MTG. This week we are doing Chainer Nightmare Adept. He is a human minion for two red black and he's a 3-2. So this is a commander that offers us a really great option for a reanimator style in red black. The ability to discard a card and then be able to cast a creature from our graveyard allows us to do some pretty fun things. His second ability allows any creature at entrance the battlefield under our control. If it wasn't cast from our hand, it gains haste. That is very tricky and very well worded. It allows for some shenanigans that we'll get to later. But essentially, it allows any reanimated creature to have haste, whether or not he brought it back, you cast it, or any other spell that gets in onto the battlefield any other way. So starting off the mana base, we have 13 mountains. Here they are with one white border mountain for good luck. And the same for the swamps, we have 16 in total. Here are some non-basic, just as many dual lands as I can get a hold of. Just kind of fill this out with as many dual lands and utility lands that you like. I really try to run as many basics as possible, so the utility lands and non-basics are pretty slim. For a ramp package, I kind of just added what I had laying around, which was Solemn, a couple of mana rocks like Coalition Relic, Gilded Lotus, Cultivator's Caravan, stuff like that. If you wanted to obviously upgrade the mana rocks, get a, I need to add a Signet to this, uh, whatever else you feel like. So the first creature we have for the payoff section is Sower of Discord. It's the demon that pairs two, two players together. So when one takes damage, the other takes damage. Next up is Null Spine Dragon. It's an interesting way to let you discard your hand as well as draw cards. And it's a big 7-5 flyer. Then we have Angroth's Marauders, the 7 mana 4-4 four four that basically doubles all the damage your creatures deal. A gratuitous violence on a creature. Next up is Ilharg the Raise Boar, the red god from War of the Spark that lets you sneak attack a creature out when he attacks. It's really interesting. Um, way to get some of the big beefy creatures that, gonna, that are probably going to sit in your hand. It's a nice way to cheat them out. He also works very well with Chainer's ability to grant haste. Next we have Dracuseth. He's just a big giant flyer. The biggest downside is that he doesn't have haste, but luckily Chainer gives the ability to grant haste because he has a gigantic on attack trigger that you really want to take advantage of. Flayer of the Hatebound, one of the coolest names in Magic. All of our creatures are going to be coming from the graveyard to the battlefield when we reanimate them, so they're going to deal their damage equal to their power to the target, and he himself has Undying. Grave Titan, not really much to say about Grave Titan, an EDH staple, just an amazing card. So the next up is more and more payoffs. First we have Archfiend of Despair. It's the creature that is a wound reflection on a demon. It doesn't let your opponents gain life, and all the damage they, are, they take they take additional damage at the end of their turn. Then we have Harvester of Souls. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, you draw a card. A couple new demons that are reprinted in the new commander set. The Madness Demon that allows you to essentially like flash it in because it has madness with Chainer. And whenever it takes damage, an opponent either loses that much life or sacrifices that many permanents. Next we have Razakath, who's just a big demon. We also have Atali, because giving Atali haste is incredible. That's the biggest thing that he needs is just to be able to attack right away. Also, he lets you exile the top card of everyone's library, so just in case there's a creature you get with a tap ability, technically it will be gaining haste because it's cast from exile. So just a little minor uh, little inclusion, but something, to, something to keep in mind. And we have Villas, Broker of Blood, the new demon from M20 who's getting a lot of hype. The 8-8 Flyer who says whenever you lose life, draw that many cards. He also has an activated ability that lets you pay black, pay two, give a creature negative one, negative one, which is pretty minor, but the whole pay two life is pretty powerful to let you draw cards at instant speed. Okay, so I have a new section. These are what I call haste tricks. 
just like weird little includes that work really well with Chainer. First up is a weird one called Body Snatcher. When he comes in, you discard a creature card from your hand. If you don't, exile it. Note this doesn't say exile the creature. I think modern text would say that you exile the creature. Because when he dies, you return any creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. So you can discard a large monster and get him out, sacrifice him, find some way to kill him, and then get a huge creature out. Another really interesting card that I finally found a home for from C16 was Shifting Shadow. It's this aura that lets you attach it to a creature, and at the beginning of your turn, you destroy the creature, and you flip randomly until you hit a creature, and put that into play, and then attach Shifting Shadow to it. A really interesting little way that this plays in the deck is, one, it puts a creature in your graveyard, so you can then reanimate it with Chainer, and also, the second creature you get also has haste, then we have some standard reanimation because these guys are pretty expensive and Chainer doesn't actually let you cheat any of their mana costs. So we have the standard Necromancy, Animate Dead, and Beacon of Unrest. And the next two are taking advantage of the fact that Chainer having creatures enter the battlefield from anywhere gives them haste. So that means cast from exile. So added stolen strategy, which allows you to exile the top cards of your opponent's library and cast them. So it's card advantage, and if you do hit creatures off your opponent's deck, they also gain haste when you when you play them. Another great one is Possibility Storm. It really messes up control players. It messes up everyone's strategy. But the spells in your hand aren't actually going to be the spells that you cast. The way that it's interesting in Chainer is, one, when you cast creatures from your graveyard, they're not cast from your hand, so they're not messed up by a Possibility Storm, so you're actually going to get what you want. And two, there are smaller creatures that kind of want to kill themselves in this deck that could then, you could, which you could cast for cheap and then wheel into a giant monster, which would then also have haste because it's cast out of exile. Next we have some of the madness, some filler creatures, a couple madness creatures, murderous compulsion, Stormkirk occultists, who lets you exile the top card of your library and then cast it, which is interesting because, you know, it's cast from exile. Squee, Goblin to Bob as a free discard outlet. Big Game Hunter, because if you madness him, he can be an instant speed kill spell. Dark Withering, again, just an instant speed kill spell. Smuggler's Copter, because it just loots, which allows you to dump big creatures in the graveyard, as well as dig a little bit. The new card, Bone Miser, which is the personal waste knot. And then a couple of wheel creatures, Magus of the Wheel and Neheb Dreadhorde Champion, which when he, when he connects, you can discard any number of cards, draw that many cards, and add red mana. And Key to the City makes some of your big guys unblockable, gets a discard outlet, as well as a little bit of card. The next two creatures are what I consider to be some of the most important creatures in the deck. They're Doomed Necromancer, that can pay black, sacrifice itself, and return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. And Apprentice Necromancer, which can pay black, sack it, it comes on the battle, the creature comes out of your graveyard to the battlefield, it gains haste, but you have to sacrifice it later. The next couple slots I consider just kind of flex slots, kind of a filler, stuff that I like. Added Felden of the Third Path, he's an interesting way to get copies of your big giant monsters in case you can't have, if you don't have the mana to cast them. I have a really soft spot for Varchild, Betrayer of Keldor, so have to add her. Vile Smasher the Fierce, and some generic card draw like Frexen Arena, Frexen Arena on different creatures, and so on. So that's Chainer Nightmare Adept. Uh, thanks guys for watching. I mean, if you guys want to leave a comment, let me know how you built Chainer, any, uh, any C19 commanders that you've been excited to build, and let me know what you want to see me do next. Thanks everyone.